Florida entered its SEC Saturday hoping to advance to Championship Sunday, but right off the bat, they were tossed the worst kind of curveball. Starter Brian Johnson was the recipient of an errant baseball from catcher Mike Zanino. Johnson immediately fell to the ground. His teammates' hearts sank right along with him. Uh, Brian's one of my best friends, so right when it happened, I saw him laying there. It was, uh, I, was, I was shocked for a second. And Brian's close to all of us on the team. You know, we're all close, and it was... It was hard to see that happen. I don't know if you ever prepared things like that happen, and all of a sudden it, 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 it just, you know, just comes up on you, and you don't, you know, but you got to regroup. And I just got him together and told him Brian was going to be all right, and that, you know, he would want us to focus and bear down, and we got to keep our focus on, on the task at hand. Johnson was taken off the field in a stretcher and straight to a local hospital where he suffered a stage three concussion. But the Gators are optimistic he'll be okay. Meanwhile, his teammates couldn't hold off those pesky never-say-die dogs who made Florida earn his trip to the championship game. 18 innings and back-to-back one-run contests later, the Gators advance. In game number two, the hero was leadoff man Nolan Fontana. He had a two-run homer, and he beat out this potential double play ball to force in the winning run. You know, the hustle play was just right when I hit it, uh, all I was thinking was get there and get there before the ball. And uh, I got fortunate and beat it out, and we got the win. So for the Gators, Sunday could be a dandy versus Vandy here in Alabama for the SEC tournament title. The good news for Florida, they beat Vanderbilt up in Nashville two out of three earlier this season. Now, Florida has five SEC tournament titles to their credit, but they haven't won one since 1991. So tomorrow, you bet they're anxious to get their first one in 20 years. We're looking forward to tomorrow, like I said, and, uh, and it's going to be um, a lot of uh, a lot of emotions out there tomorrow, and, and, and if we win tomorrow, it will carry momentum, and that's what we're looking for uh, to, get, to get going into the postseason. Uh, definitely mean a lot to us. You know, we want to win it. We know it's going to be a dogfight. It, uh, it, was, it was a battle at, earlier at Vanderbilt this year, and I expect it's going to be the same tomorrow. Tomorrow, big indeed, but after today's roller coaster gator ride, Florida just needs some sleep. In Birmingham, Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.